So what we'll do is, because this thing is is pulling in a bunch of garbage, we'll disable that. Uh, manually disable that. Because we have the switch here and all of this. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll raise this up a little bit. That way, keep on working on that. And then we'll put this down here. So that way, it's just going to suck up natural gas. Because clearly, we're not getting enough pressure. Again, because we're only running off of one natural gas geyser. Uh, so we're getting a bunch of other gases that's that's uh, uh piling up at the top and it's probably because they keep running out here to do this which is now done uh and so they're opening up that door and they're letting all the hydrogen in so i don't have a filter there that's a really old system i never ended up putting a filter on it so that was my fault uh as you can see we're we're also getting tons of oxygen uh that's being used and not actually being stored anywhere so let's see we'll run this to here. Oops. That's kind of a weird way of doing that. <laughs> and then we'll just go up and over and we'll do this all the way up. And then we'll run this into here. And so when that's done, then we'll go and we'll snip those two wires and we'll let that, uh, or those uh, those two connectors. So we'll leave out in space. It's never going to change in temperature, uh, which is great because the, the water that's coming out of it, or the air that's coming out of it, is already pretty cool. 39 degrees, so that's great. I think it's actually getting cool from this room over here, which is at uh, 6 degrees. So it has gone up and we have lost a little bit of snow. So this area is taking a bit of a beating. I wonder if I should crack this open real quick and run in there and just plant... A wheeze wart just right here. You know what I'm saying? Just to oh no, because I have to keep it fed. I can't manually do it either. Leaky oil fisher. No, I'm not gonna fuck with that. It's a yeah, leaky oil fisher. <laughs> you asked just the right time. All right, so wires going in, pumps going in. This is gonna help the problem that we have with the uh, shitty gas in here. And as you can see, there's lots of shitty gas in here, so that's gonna be an issue. I might just let it go. Was aluminum ore? How much aluminum ore do we have? Can we just sacrifice the ore? Aluminum ore. Eh, we got plenty for repairs. That's fine. They're working on this. Still working on it. Iron ore. We'll make it out of iron, but I don't know if that's going to last long term. Make a sweeper. That's a really long trip to put something over there for that. Like, that's too long. That's too far. That's not going to work. Um, what I need to do is get a pip and drop it over there and let the pip plant it. That would be the thing to do. Okay, so we get those pipes in. How are we doing down here, by the way? Look at this plastic making machine. Okay, so the room is 145 degrees. 100, I believe this actually fell a couple degrees. It's, uh, it's fluctuated, but I believe it actually fell a couple degrees. And then over here, it's still 160 degrees. So good. So this insulation is indeed working. Fucking fantastic. Good. Uh, and I'm hoping that, yeah, all this heat just gets dissipated through here or just goes out over here. But whatever. We, we have we have 7.1 tons of plastic. And I'm going to keep on going until we're out of petroleum. I have no other use for petroleum right now. Might as well go ahead and use it on something that uh, long term we can find a solution for. Look at this. It's all nice and backed up. So we're guaranteed to have oxygen coming out of this electrolyzer and hydrogen from this uh, from this room. Uh, it's gonna get fed into, I guess, this, or maybe what we should do is... That's clean, I mean, that's clean... Hydrogen. I wonder if... Is it going through a filter? I mean, there's there's a filter here to get out, uh, oxygen. There's nothing else in this space, though. So, like, yeah, I guess I'm not filtering it. For, um, you know, for, uh, just hydrogen. And it's, I mean, as long as nothing leaks in here, I guess it's fine. Let me see, inserts get the stuff out of that pipe. So what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, uh, maybe I should just grab from here, even though this is like the cool lock hydrogen that we're, that we're cooling, we're cooling it passively with the system that we're probably gonna get rid of anyways. So, uh, or not get rid of, but maybe, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking of actually routing more oxygen through here or, or routing something else through here and use those wheeze warts for that. But we'll see. Hydrogen, so yeah, we could we could just start hooking these up right now. It's already on a it's already on a a, a line for the um, for power, so power is not a problem. We should uh, run this up, and then run this up like that, 
Then we will gas bridge. Yes. There. So now we'll just split it. We'll get a f good amount. We'll get a good amount in here. Am I getting a good amount? Is this thing pumping at capacity? I really don't feel like it is. I also feel like this is a bad place for it because if any gas gets in here and it gets, it kind of swoops down here like carbon dioxide or something, which is going to happen, uh, I feel like it's going to suck it right up. It's got to go anywhere. It has, it has to go eventually anyways because we're going to be replacing it. So let's see what's down here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, including that. And that's the feedback loop. So we'll, yeah, we'll just continue that legacy over here by piping that in here and running this over to this we'll give it a gap just in case we need to jump something over and then we'll put a gas pump right here in the middle perfect <laughs> perfect spot for it let's lay it over and then one gas bridge going right this way no no this way there we go it goes in out out in and da, da, da. good get rid of that power We'll just run heavy watt wire directly to it. Ta-da! Great! That's a much better system. And we have, look at these guys are running. Uh, they're actually running full time, so let's go ahead and fix that. <laughs> yes, because of this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run a single wire across all of this. And that'll keep that, oh, that'll allow that to shut off whenever it's, um... I wonder if I should link it up to the other ones. Just to, just for efficiency's sake. Like, if I have all of these running together... then they would all turn on or turn off as needed and we'd have a shared grid of, of, of a mix see like this is turned on but that could all I mean why not turn the hydrogen ones on as well uh, so that way we don't have one side that's completely supported by natural gas and the other side that's completely supported by hydrogen will have a mix thus alleviating some of the stress on those systems I think yeah oh of course it would not I think uh, doo -doo -doo. automation line run this up and over to here and that'll be it. <sighs> our little base is coming along, man. I'm really liking this. Like our food supply is great. We're at 780 cycles, and it's it's just it's chill. Like there's just not a lot of problems right now. Uh, we're at 10 tons of algae. Um, it's beautiful, right? It's great. Yeah, it's so good. I think I think the next thing we should look at doing is setting up a slime processing center after we do plastic or uh tubes we got to get tubes all over the place so that way their commutes can get cut down because right now their commutes are too long this is the first oni base i've seen they aren't all like this is it really <laughs> no some of them are far far more organized than than what i'm doing right now um like a pre-planned master compute community or something uh and others are uh way worse <laughs> if you if you go to the oxygen included subreddit if you feel the need to um you'll see it there are people that are brilliant like they have just like some brilliant um you know ideas and how they implement and use the physics in the game uh brothgar is like one of my favorites but his youtube channel has been hijacked uh which i am yeah i did i did all that i could do as just a fan to uh that has you know that has a uh an audience that I could reach out to and try to get, try to get these guys to, try to get somebody to look at this, you know? Am I, the, am I a master Oni player now? Uh, I mean, I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good. They said I'm sort of that. I don't think his channel's back up yet. I follow him on Twitter now. I didn't follow him before because he never uses it. Um, a, f a fucking wart seed. I think this is a sign. I think this is a sign that, do we have a, a pip that's alive? We do have a pip that's alive. A single pip that's alive, but, um, so they're not gonna plant that seed. I wonder if we should go ahead and, he's starving, time till death. He's got three cycles until he's dead. So let's see if we can't utilize him uh, before he kicks the buckets. <laughs> and where do we, s I guess we can just go straight up in here. Let's, let's, let's try to plan this out. First, we're gonna put a bin here. Uh, and we'll put it like, I don't know, right here, something right here. Uh, we're gonna open up this, and this is gonna be our way in. Uh, can they, yeah, they can yeah, they crawl up over this, good. And that will let some of that liquid through, but maybe we'll get lucky and some of it get stuck, it'll create a barrier there, we'll see. Uh, the pipes wires in this asteroid look like an old program from an ex-dev, bit of old code, duplicated lines, no documentation, and heading to figure out, yes! Yeah, that is precisely what this is. Uh, how funny, yeah, damn. 
And then what we'll do is we'll load this thing up with that one wart seed. Just one wart seed, because I think we only have one. Uh, technically, that's not being used. We have one wart seed. Good. And then we'll... Uh, and then we'll grab the... Oh, so that's the other thing we have to grab. We have to make a, a critter drop-off, which is on our food. So critter drop-off. And then we'll put this here. This will be an emergency. And we'll make it out of... Doesn't matter. We just have to watch this, basically. Okay, so we just got a tiny little gap, but that hydrogen is coming out. Let's turn this off, actually. Disable building, because this is actually sucking out all of that hydrogen, and we need the hydrogen to stay in there. Okay, good. Okay. Now, oh, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way! Oh my god. Okay, let me see. Critter. <laughs> Pip. Oh, I should have wrangled his ass. Damn it. What time is it? Okay, good. What time is it? What, what, what time of the cycle is it? Uh, Pip, Pip, Pip. Pip, Pip. Where you at, Pip? Glossy Dreco. Oxygen, Pip. There it is. Okay, so let's go and wrangle. Let's make that emergency wrangle. Emergency wrangle! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, wow. That was, that was really fast. Great. Okay, now come over here. Drop his ass off. Get that wart seed in here. He's only gonna live for another couple cycles. We need as much time as possible in order to get this thing installed before he, uh, before it kicks it. And we will always remember him! Or it. This is a real seat of your pants maneuver. <laughs> We're gonna make this happen, man. We just need to make sure that this room stays about as hyd hydrogenated as we possibly can. It's gotta be an emergency. Get that wart seed in here. Get that wart seed in here. One wart seed. It's all I'm asking. Please. There it is. Okay, where's that pip? Where's that fucking pip? We can make this a nine now. Because we only have one ward seed, so. Let's do this too. Let's go ahead and set this up. But not not to be done though. Let's set it up as like a like a five. Somebody grab him. Where's he at? Is he still here? Oh shit, somebody grabbed him. Oh no, he's not been wrangled? Oh, he must have gotten free. Oh, or maybe this has a pip drop off. And it, it, yeah, okay, that's what it is. Good. Now get him, get him, get him, sweep him. I don't know how it works. Pip, uh, well maybe they'll just do it. He's got him, picked up a pip. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you son of a bitches! God damn it! There, get him over here! Oh my god, where's the pip? Oh my god, where's this fucking pip? Oh my god, I lost the pip. <sighs> it's somewhere in this base. Uh, is there a way to see critters, I wonder? Critters... no... Uh, one of these shows like plants, maybe we get lucky and it'll show animals too? Nope. Okay, so where is the pip? Oh, there's a pip right there. Oh, you put him back. So I don't understand what's going on. Wrangle him up. Oh, who do you wrangle up there? No, no, oh, I missed. <laughs> this, this, this little bastard. There, oh, they got him. Okay, good. Yes, pick his ass up. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Let's follow him. Oh, I lost him. Okay, here it is. Oh my god, please hurry. He's got it in his mouth. He's got it in his mouth. Please do- No! God damn it! <sighs> Wrangle his ass up again! <sighs> well, he's gonna plant it somewhere though. Hold on. Okay, so let's make this a one. Oh, he's going back. He's going back. Okay, okay, never mind. Make this emergency. <laughs> oh! Oh, he didn't have it in his mouth. He did not have it in his mouth. Please. Fuck! God! Just get in! Get in! Oh my god. <laughs> get in! Deconstruct. Wrangle. Oh, no, not the wrangle. He'll go up. Oh my god. Go up. Go up! Is the seat still in there? Oh, there's no seed. Where is the seed? Is it on the ground? Oh wait, I see it. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. Okay, good. Good.
Oh, wait, what is he doing? What's he picking up? Oh, he's picking up the warts and he put it back in. Okay, good. 2.2 <sighs> cycles. This is just, this is... Okay, please wrangle him right now. Good job, Navy Devil. Get him. Get him. Okay, now he's gonna pick him up, right? Right? Good. Okay, now, and I, I'm... Fuck, we gotta hurry up and get this thing in here. Okay, so emergency. Let him get him get up there. Good. Oh, did he drop it? Oh, he had him. Okay. Oh my god, get over here and do this right now. Martha, please don't get trapped in there. Don't you dare. He's got it in his mouth. Okay. Don't finish it. Okay, good. It's done, it's just not finished. This is absurd. Absurd! It shouldn't be like this. He's only got two cycles left. Okay, okay, oh, 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 hold on. Okay, okay, let's not get crazy though. We're gonna seven to five, and then we're gonna pee. This, all right, the resources are already in there, okay? The bin has one Weezwort. All we have to do is just seal off this room before he gets over here. Yes! Yes! We're done. Cancel Wrangle. Look at that. Yes. Take it. Take it and plant it. You have two cycles to take it and plant it. Two cycles. Please. I will watch you. I will watch you until you fucking die. <laughs> Poor thing. Please pick it up and plant it. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that he's gonna plant it. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah! Yes! Yes! That's how it's done. That's how you play video games right there, baby. <laughs> We did it! That's right! Take a drink! Oh man, we're running out of oxygen by the way for the suits. Like I said, so let's go ahead and snip some of these. Snip snip! Snip! And a snip! Because now we have a buffer over here. So the buffer will uh, will fill up with nice cool air and we'll go from there. That's not fucking great. Was that somehow better than plan- Oh, so, okay. Uh, I, I, I could see why that'd be confusing. When a pip plants something, it's it's wild, right? It's wild. So when something is wild, that means you don't have to feed it. You don't have to uh, or water it. You don't have to uh, feed it too, right? You don't have to fertilize it. You don't have to do any kind of care. You just let it. It just exists. It's wild. Um, so that's why you want the pip to do it. Uh, and that's why we went through all this trouble to make that happen. So now what's great is, you know, this, this room is uh, is getting warm. As long as this snow, that snow, 23 degrees, as long as it can continue to cool this hydrogen here, and hydrogen cools super fast, uh, we should be able to save this area. And if we save this area, then we have it, we basically have an infinite uh, cooling mechanism because we've reached the balance. Now, I don't know if one Weasel is going to be enough. This is just kind of a stopgap right now that'll help slow down the constant warming due to the the gas is coming through here because look the gas comes through it enters this zone at uh 125 degrees it cools in here right it's gonna cool by 20 degrees or so 90 something degrees so it's like 95 to 100 degrees 90 let's say 100 degrees going in and then it comes out at 40 degrees 20 degrees 40 degrees 20 degrees 40 degrees 20 degrees, let's say 30 degrees so just this tiny little loop in this space drops it so much but all that energy transfer you know, of uh, you know, cold to hot, um, ends up you know taking its taking its toll on the surrounding area. So I figured, pack it full of hydrogen that helps slow things down a little bit. Um, and then now we have a wort in there. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good. That wort is going to get really cold, uh, probably very very shortly, and then it'll just it'll just take care of the rest. If the snow if the snow below the wort melts, then I'm in trouble. But I I just I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like now that it's there. The Weezwort, it's going to stop warming, basically. The Weezwort is warm by itself, but it's going to cool down pretty quickly. The Weezwort is consuming vacuum. That's not true. Is that true? 
that should not be true. It's not. It's not a. Uh, it's not actually. Yeah, there's a bit of water here, but it should it should still be cooling. Let me give it. It can't exist with gas on the same tile. Oh, so you sit with liquid, you mean? Um, hmm. Well, this pit's gonna die. I wonder if you should set him free, just for the time being. 0.3 cycles, well, it's... well. Uh, yeah, you're, you're right, it's not doing its thing. It's cooling its, itself, it's cooling itself, uh, so that's something. I guess we'll go ahead and open this up. And I will go in here, and what we'll do is we'll... We'll cut a couple holes here. Because it's not going to melt, it's just going to sit there on the ground, I guess. And that way, and then we'll mop this up. Hmm... There's nine. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we got some meat out of it, though. Mop, mop, mop! Let's go! Mop it up, mop it up, mop it up. That's important. Good, but this not. Now we can see it's, uh, yeah, now it's, now it's actually, it's consuming vacuum at 250, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right at all. Consuming vacuum, this is a bug. I had to say something wrong. Let's, let's leave it alone for a bit. We might just restart the, uh, maybe we'll restart the game or something just to see if that fixes it. Because I had that problem over here too, but... I, I, can't, I think I just restarted the game and it, it, it fixed it, but that's fine. I'm not worried about it. That room is going to be taken care of. Uh, we have nasty gas coming in here. Oh, we got... Oh, whoa. We're getting... Uh, that shouldn't be... Oh, because it's backed up? No. That shouldn't be the case. Why is that pulling in? Oh, it's not really right next to it. You know what? Maybe what we'll do is we will... Just let that gas... Sure, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll just turn this off. And we'll just let this gas that's coming up here and building up. We just built that so we can get the gas out of here, right? This hydrogen building up right here. Uh, we'll just let it float to the top. There's no there's no reason to not let that happen. For more effective cooling, I would keep a one square gap in the cooling loop so it could output not warming from the intake. You mean for the wheeze wart? I'm just gonna let it, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna just ambient, actually, I, I honestly, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, cause I don't know what you're referring to exa exactly, but, um, but yeah, I think the wheeze wart's fine where it is. The pipe loop, I think, is fine as well, honestly. Um, oh, this is backed up because of this. Um, keep a one square gap in the cooling loop so that the cold output not warming from the... Yeah, I still don't understand. <laughs> Sorry. It's... I mean, also I include it, as you know, is it is a very technical game and sometimes when people try to explain things in uh, in chat and text, I just don't understand what you're, what you're talking about, what you're referring to because there's so many things that I'm thinking about at once here. Uh, this is done. Good. We can go ahead and get rid of this and this. But I appreciate it, though. Uh, there's a natural vent in that pipe cooling room. Yeah, it's, uh, it's oil fissure. So I'm not going to mess with it. This is not something I'm interested in right now. <laughs> Let's get rid of these background buildings here. And then we're going to, yeah, we will cut through this. Oh, okay. I think we'll cut through all of this. What is this pipe? Oh yeah, let's clean up this pipe too. Let's do some kind of like cleaning up. There we go. And then we'll snip when that's done. We'll snip. Oh, I'm still on emergency mode. Damn it. I guess six. Which is fine because I'm already here. Might as well. There we go. Oh, where's it going? Oh, let's get backed up at the thing there. Have to stop. Good. Mm. Perfect. Then look at the background tiles. Yes, that's marked to deconstruct, okay. And then we'll build straight across. Good. 
clean that up just a little tiny bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these, uh, and then we're going to go straight across here and try to, and then basically link up this, uh, this tube over here. Uh, it's not really uh, hot down here, so I don't really feel like I need to worry about putting another layer of insulated. I already have in double insulation here. I might have double insulation here. Uh, I just need something to walk across, really. <laughs> so, could probably put, um... Ladders, but ladders look jank, so I'll, I will probably just put a nice thin line of just regular tile. How's this doing? Oh, it's getting cold. Good. Good. I guess that food's gonna rot in there. Actually, wait, it's, is it in? Well, it's in, uh, it's refrigerated and fresh, but it's not in pollution exposure. Yeah, it's not in carbon dioxide, so it's not gonna last. How's my oxygen stream going? Good. There we go. We have more than enough oxygen all over the space. That's a that's a relatively comfortable temperature, especially over here in this corner where it's like actually pretty cold. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. Wait, here we go. We can finish this now. So we'll go. Do, 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 do. And then we'll put we'll cut this. We'll cut this out, deconstruct. How much pressure is down here? Eh, less than what's up top. Okay. Oh, right. Right on a line, too. Beautiful. No? Oh, there's a background. What's back there? Background buildings? Oh, there's a temp shift plate back there. Oh, can I build over top of, uh... Conductive wire. Conveyor rail. It's like, I guess it's the conveyor rail you can't build. Oh, the temp shift plate's still there. Oh, damn it. I thought they just came over and opened it up. There's no symbol there. There, now it's gone. I guess. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yes, now it's gone. Great. So when I pull on this... Am I pulling enough hydrogen from this mess? We are, because we're letting in oxygen out, which means the pressure is starting to equalize just a little bit. So we're still generating hydrogen. We still have lots of hydrogen just kind of like floating around, so... Yeah, I think we're good. As we're not feeding... Mixed... Nothing. We're not feeding anything mixed. Good. That's all going there. So it looks like our pump is getting cooled and immediately going into the generators. So we're not even really using the cool air from the, uh, or the cool, uh, uh, hydrogen. I wonder if what we should do is maybe, I mean, it's not that hot here. So maybe we should, maybe we should put some like regular instead of insulated, do regular and just let it kind of passively cool this area. This place is taking over nice. It is. It's almost too nice. It's. I. I feel like this is an easy. This is an easy map. Like they, like the last one I did was like a struggle. But also, like I've learned so much. Even this time, 500 hours in, still learning. Let's do this. See if we can't get this to like, kind of ambiently, am ambiently cool. This uh, these machines that are up here. This is at 108 degrees. This is at 98 degrees. Especially this water uh, reservoir. Actually, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, oh, it's already swapped out. Man, you my dudes. You my dudes. Look at it, it's getting super hot. <laughs> we could have it loop all the way around and just cool everything, but I don't want to take up that much space. This is fine. This is fine. Also, we have room for another one. If we desperately need more power, we can do that. No blow. No wires being blown. We've added an extra pump. We've added so many things, and everything seems to be good. You could put radium pipe with the H2. I could put radium pipe, but I think I think that this just what it's where it's sitting because if you think about how long it sits here for, look, it's already getting up to, to temp. 
so it's not equalized. Um, and then it's gonna sort through, yeah. So Radiant, Radiant's Overkill, all Radiant's gonna do is gonna dump all of that energy all in that one tile. So by using standard, you know, pipes, it's gonna slowly cool as it goes down but as you can see like it's exiting at 100 degrees which is about the ambient temperature anyways so yeah regular pipe is the answer here not radiant pipe radiant pipe is good if you like really if you have a small amount of space and you need to exchange a lot of energy then radiant pipe is your shit but um standard pipe also exchange exchanges uh energy pretty quickly so how's this doing okay oh, let me see so it looks like we could start Haha, <laughs> they're going down here. What a bunch of chumps. Damn it. No, let's block this off. Deconstruct that. Actually, I think I just build on top of it. There we go. Oh no, I can't because there's a temp shift plate back there. Yes, there is. Oh my god, I put so many temp shift plates up. Background buildings. There you go. And also that ladder. Now put this here. No? Oh, because temp shift plate's still there. <laughs> Damn it! Temp shift plate. Right now! <laughs> I don't care what you're working on, just do this! There you go. That temp shift plate too? Looks like they're working on it right now. But see, yeah, it's going into the generator at 103 degrees. And this thing is 107 degrees. So yeah, it's 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 actually what we set up is actually almost perfect. Uh, in terms of like the amount of yeah, because coming in at what? At negative 36 degrees, and it's already at uh, at at equilibrium at the end of that. So good. That's good. We should we should technically see these things cool down pretty dramatically. Um, I mean, like again, like let me just take it. The water sieve is 107 degrees. So if we could get that thing to drop down below 100 degrees, that'd be amazing. The battery down here at the end, 108 degrees. If we get that drop down below 100 degrees, also amazing. Um, so basically, nothing here is oh, is under 100 degrees, but they're close. 106 degrees, 106 degrees. So yeah, I think I think it'll work. It'll take time. Uh, lots and lots of hydrogen right here. Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. We'll we'll pump it out later. <laughs> Not right now, but we will. Building is going to start on this project here. <sighs> I don't have a place to store all this stuff. These um, natural gas. I wonder if I should put. Yo, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this down. We have lots in reserve right now. Building's output at a fixed temp now. Clay did that as some people found it too hard before. Uh, I feel like we've had this conversation before. We found out that was not true. But... But yeah. Uh, what up, Sinjino? Okay, let's get this thing turned- oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, they just turned it off. Okay, so we have lots of- of, uh, natural gas in reserve, and these things are not running full-time. They're- they're- they're exchanging with the, uh, the hydrogen. Uh, god, this is a lot of hydrogen down here, man. What if I should pump it out? Like, just pump it out into this room. Just, just a tiny little setup. It'll just take two seconds. What else is down here, though, in terms of gases? Oxygen. Okay, so nothing that's necessarily going to kill anything, but if that gets in the system, that's going to be a problem. So let's let's make a small system to get the hydrogen out of this room, but redump the oxygen back in. This is a lot of hydrogen that we're missing out on not being up here. Uh, granted, we still have tons up here, but that's going to run out eventually. We're sucking it right out and putting it right into this system here. So, so we need to do something about this. Let's grab. Yeah, this is put ventilation, gas pump. <clears throat> we'll put it uh, over. Let me see. Yeah, I'll put it all the way at the end over here. It'll kind of get in the way as we're building stuff, but I think it'll be fine. And then we'll just take it and we'll just go not straight up there. But, oh, I know. We'll go up here. And then we'll have it just jettison all, all of it right here. And then we'll snip it. There you go. Actually, we'll go and cut that other t other. <clears throat> oh wait, no, I was gonna build a um uh a way to bypass the the oxygen out. I don't want to use a filter. Um. Oh, what is this? 
I don't know much about this game, just trying to understand what the hell's going on. It's a lot! <laughs> yeah, I have to put a sensor in, you're right. Uh, I forgot to do that. I said I was gonna do it, and then did not do it. You know how it goes. Um... Might just be really out of the fucking loop, but any idea why I can't listen to Mike's music on Spotify? And he's like, "Oh, uh, Gaster, so I, I removed it because the 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 um the service that I was using was uh was just way way too expensive per year. Um, you know, my music gets listens, but it's not enough to like pay. Was it two hundred dollars or something? I don't remember how much it was. It was like, but it was like over a hundred, between a hundred and two hundred dollars every single year. And it was like on January too. So it's like every January, you know, you, you basically get, you know, uh, I have to pay for the service to keep my music up. There's another way of doing it. Um, uh, Mario Choa, uh, a, a DJ, he actually showed me a way to do it or explained a way to do it that will allow me to, uh, it'll allow me to use, I guess, my own label to put stuff up through Spotify for basically free. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and use events here. We'll put this here. It'll be the setup. I'm trying to, like, think and talk at the same time. It's not working. <laughs> All right. So, hydrogen is going to go up. Everything else is going to go down. Connect that to that. This is going to go... I guess we'll just run regular gas pipe. Nothing crazy expensive. Run that down. And then, can I go through here? Yes, I can. And then we'll just dump it right here. And we'll do a high pressure vent because I'm sure it's probably a little bit too stuffy down there. And so this will get rid of all of the, or this will filter all the natural, all the uh, hydrogen and allow us to use that. And look at that, perfect. And then we can start building all the squares and all the stuff that we need. Squares. Uh, the uh, insulated tile. Technically squares. Insulated. Good. Lots of text, though. You've been warned. Oh, boy. I'll just open it up another window here. But, yeah, what my understanding was, was what, I think what Tweaker said, is a cool guy's of water goes through a sieve, and it comes out freezing on most. Guide old says that everything comes out of the sieve, comes out of 40. Yeah, so the old guides say that it comes out at a, at a fixed rate, which is what people were doing. Uh, it was called heat heat deleting, or heat deletion or something. Um, but as, as it turns out, they changed it. So we'll see what happens. I mean, well, you know, I'll look at that later. I'll just buy the album instead. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> Thank, I appreciate that. Thank you. I wish Spotify had a better album management system. You know, like like for local music. Like it's it's complete. It's complete ass. <laughs> like it's just terrible. Um, it just like lumps everything together. I don't. Can you make playlists? Can you make playlists on local music? I don't even know if you can. I'll have to look into that. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and get this filter set up. You want hydrogen to go through there. And we want this... Uh, they'll, they'll get to it. They'll get to it. No rush. No rush. How is Bandcamp for albums? Bandcamp's great for albums. Uh, the Bandcamp app, amp, uh, app is also pretty good. Alright, so it is getting cooler in here, which is great. So we wanted. And uh, it was it was green before. A lot of this was actually green, so I feel like the Wheeze Wart, the one single Wheeze Wart, is indeed winning. It's brought the snow down an additional 20 degrees, so it's not going to, uh, hopefully, not going to melt anytime soon. Uh, this over here is, uh, oh, that's fine. I think it's like, I think it's actually melting. Pluto, it is melting right now. But it's fine. Where is it getting that heat from? Oh, from the pipe still. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we'll see if we can't stop that from, from happening. Oh, look, this uh, this room. Wow. Despite the door being open, I forgot to come and seal this, actually. It is negative 110 degrees. Holy shit. So I was going to seal it off and just let, um, just let it cook on itself, right? And see how cold it could get. But I forgot to seal it. What is that, like 20 cycles ago or something like that? And it's down to a negative 110. Now, it's uh, it's not a particularly good uh, cooling mechanism because it just doesn't have a lot. I mean, the heat production is negative 80,000 uh, uh, DTUs. 
And while I don't know the exact math on this, um, I feel like if I start pumping water through there, that's even room temperature, it's going to kill this thing because it's just not enough to, uh, to counter it. So whatever we pump through here to cool needs to be in moderate quantities. Uh, or just a single thing. Like we just say, okay, this is going to cool just this one thing. But if we start pumping gas and water and whatever else through here, uh, then we're going to kill it. Like this is not going to work out. Uh, I am going to go ahead and seal this though. Mm, wait, copper from the volcano. Hey, you know. That would probably kill it like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but setting up a conveyor system that will run up, up here and just kind of pass through to cool it, that'd be amazing. I just don't think it's going to work. Uh, try it. Oh, it's fine. Try it. Dude, the copper from the volcano is going to be like 2,000 degrees or something insane. What is this thing sitting at? It's at 200 degrees. Well, we'll just pretend it's 2,000 degrees. Uh, and it's going to just ravage anything you put it in or around. Uh, I'm, I'm serious. Though. I do think that the, the actual... Um, copper nugget that drops out the copper liquid that instantly turns into like a nugget uh will will definitely kill that the wheeze war is yeah so wheeze yeah wheeze war is better wait i actually thought this was better than the wheeze war but maybe yeah maybe not it's just a it's just a nice it's just a nice to have it's a lot of surface area too that it's uh that it's running on we could put a bunch of um we could put a bunch of... Oh, whoops. Yeah, thank you, Victor. Man, just just, just blindly trusting chat like that. Uh, oh, wait, this is a mess. But nothing here is off. Why is it not running? It's idle because of what? Oh, because no, oh, because we're not feeding it anything. Uh, also fine, actually. And you know what? Maybe this is a good idea to just do this and just... Do you think that, do you guys think that this will eventually, uh, cool the room? Do you think that's possible? I mean, at, at negative, I mean... There's no way. We can't recreate this biome. I mean, that's a nice cold patch right there. That's great. Negative 114 degrees is amazing. Uh, but I mean, look, we're, we're pumping in hydrogen and it's going through here and coming out, right? It's coming through this and pump coming out. Um, I have so much heat coming in here. I do. I totally do. And it's all in like regular pipes. Yeah. Let's just let it continue. It's going to go to like negative 170. So we'll come back and check on that later. How's my gas doing? Good. Ah, look, they finished this. Oh, cool. We're actually vacuum sucking all this stuff out. Even better. That's what I want to see. Nothing but hydrogen coming out of there. So I think what we'll do is on this side, we'll get started with, um, starting to create that bridge. It goes all the way across. So let's see. Do I want that heat transfer? I think I am going to use insulated tile. I said I wasn't going to do it. But I've been known to say things and not mean them. There we go. And then we'll come across here. There's a whole lot of shells. I wonder if I should <laughs> pop this open and go down there and just grab all that. All those shells. I think we can use that in our steel making process or something. You never did seal it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I never did seal it. Has a minimum temp of... Oh, wow. Has a minimum temp of negative 343? Huh. You know what, then? Let's seal it off. And we'll come back and check on it when it gets to negative 343, and then we'll figure out what to do with it. What we'll do is we'll put like one radiant pipe in there and just see what happens. Like just like this water that's coming in at what, uh, 122 degrees and exiting at what is it exiting at? Hundred and twelve degrees? Oh wow, it's not it's actually not we're not really getting any. Uh, we could kill this whole loop, actually, and maybe just have it go in here and just one, or maybe just a couple of, uh, standard pipes and, uh, see if it, if it can't cool it with some level of efficiency. Because it's going through the entire base, man. Like, this is, this whole system is going through the, you know, through everything, really. 
Yeah, because it's going and it's double feeding back into itself. Which this is getting backed up. Is that a problem? No, because everything's bypassed. Flash freezing. <laughs> yeah, huh. Huh. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. This thing's now cycling on itself. We should see this thing dr dramatically cool. Hey, Buffy. By the way, our plastic uh, building center is uh, is still doing great. It's just doing its thing. Uh, this is uh, 147 degrees, so it's pretty much the same as it was before. 163. So I think we've created a nice little uh, little seal. This is chest make it. How much plastic do we have now? 11.5 tons. We're actually down to our last liquid reservoir, though. So we'll probably have to kick this thing on uh, here in a little bit. Just kind of suck some of that out. And also, there's a lot of natural gas down here that's just chilling. And it's also vapor locked over here too. Not that I'd already done this. What was all that delicious algae up there? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff up here. Huh. Algae, 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 fossil, granite. I don't know if it's that interesting to get up there and dig all this out and have those polluted water drop down and make a huge mess out of my beautiful pool of liquid black gold. Yeah, I don't think I'll fuck with that. <laughs> 